Hi, welcome back to Air Dad's Diary. And uh, as promised in the last video, we are going to assemble the Boogaboo Fox together. The how-to video, actually it comes on the box written, so it's boogaboo.com slash fox slash how-to. You can look it up. It's a six and a half minute video. However, I doubt I'm gonna be able to build it in six and a half minutes. Um, in the store, I was told they need approximately 20 to 25 minutes. So I guess it could end up with an hour. But don't worry, we're gonna do a time lapse out of the whole build process. The first thing I'm gonna do is take all the parts out. Then we're gonna line them up on the bed. By the way, this is the guest room that we have here, which will turn into the kids room at one point. Um, yeah, so nevertheless, let me just unfold everything or unbox everything. We'll look at the parts and then we're gonna start assembling it together and I'm gonna tell you how easy it was or how difficult it was. And if you should buy it online versus in a store where they assemble it for you uh, versus a higher price obviously, or if you could do this by yourself. All right, so let's get right into it. So it actually took only a few minutes because what I have not realized and actually I haven't researched or thought about it Bugapu Fox complete doesn't mean complete in the sense of that you have everything in the box but complete in the sense of it's pre-built already so the whole thing took me maybe five ten minutes and actually it would have taken me maybe like three minutes because stupid me I tried to put the canopy on the wrong side which is here on the basin, but actually it comes on this side. So it's totally assembled. It's very easy. You guys don't need to buy in a shop. You can buy online. Just look for the complete thing and the stroller will be there. So let me just come here, unlock the brake, and then you can see the stroller right here. Yeah, so we have the white canopy or like off-white uh, here we have the handle in brown and the handle here in brown, uh, dark brown. And we have the silver frame and uh, the white wheels. See, even the wheels, I ha didn't have to do anything with the wheels. It's super easy. You just put this in, you take out the entire basin. Yeah? And later on, I will have to rebuild this one into the child seat, which is the two parts that I actually left on the right side. And just put it back in, you put it over here. And that's it, bring it up. And if you wanna extend this, you have a zipper here. Well, let me see where it is. Oh, now I have to break this thing here. Here we go. Then you can just extend it and you can make it even further. So you can change these parts as well and have different color, red, blue, black, whatever you like. So. Uh, just in case you don't like the color that you buy. Over there are like 75 euro or so. And very easy to, to open all these things here. So you do this here. You unzip here. And then you can basically get to here. And you can take this one off as well. The handle. Here we go. And then you have everything ready. So obviously you need to put, you know, cushioning and whatever you want to do. It has this mattress here, right, which comes with it, uh, which later on this part uh, will be transformed into the the buggy when this uh, child sits either forward or backwards. But until the baby can sit, it's actually in this function. And what I like about the Fox is it's super easy to maneuver. Really, you can turn it on the spot, as you can see here. Uh, it's very light, very easy to drive. So uh, I'm sure we're gonna like it. All right, let me just take the camera from the uh, tripod and show you some details of the Boogaboo Fox and uh, what we like about it. All right, so we have uh, put the Boogaboo Fox together and uh, there are a few things that I want to show you which we'll do here and then later we're gonna go actually out and I want to show you how much space it will take in our car. We have a Skoda Octavia which you've seen in the video too when we picked this one up 
uh, just to see when we fold it down. However, I want to show you the process, how it looks like when we fold it down. So <coughs> before we do that, first point, obviously we have the wheels in the front that uh, turn in any direction. However, you can lock them. We just put this one down and then once you turn it into position, it will lock automatically. Same thing on the other side. You'll see now and then they actually stay in the position they're supposed to, for example, if you go on uneven terrain. Then we have the foot brake here. And obviously then you cannot turn, so you have to lift it up. We have the foot brake on the left side. Once you step on it, you'll have the indicators showing red lights or red lights, uh, red color. Uh, so it doesn't uh, drive away. And then if you want to actually take out the basin from the stroller base, you just push in the two white parts in here, left and right, and that's unhooked and then you can take it out, the entire basin. Now, if we want to fold the stroller, you're going to use these buttons. So you have to push in, go up, and then you have to basically bring it down and you can push it all the way. So this is the lowest possible. If you leave the wheels on, whoops. And obviously you see it's not fixed. It doesn't have an irritation. Basically something that will hold it in that position. It would have been something nicer if they would have something that actually it locks into this position. However, this is the smallest it gets. Yeah. Which isn't bad, which uh, we have seen strollers, which took nearly our entire boot in the car and this is fine. If you want to unpack it basically again, you can do that over the levers again, through here and like that. And again, it's here. Then unlock the brake and again, you can drive it. Then it's always easier if you want to put this one back on, if you just open it and take out the handle a little bit. And obviously if you you lock the brake so it doesn't drive away and obviously you can put in the basin either way however obviously if you have a small baby you want the baby to look at you or that you can see the baby and uh, the baby will lie in it will be lying in the basin and will not be able to look out so there's no point of putting it this way later on however if you have the buggy style then you're going to do it this way now when you put it in be careful that you don't tilt it towards the front because otherwise it locks in place like this and obviously the baby will be head forward. So when you put it in, make sure it's straight and then it's tilted a bit towards you. And then once it locks on both sides, you hear the noise, then it's fine. And again, we have the canopy. You can extend it with a zipper here, which is great. And obviously from the height, we have the handlebar that would be the lowest. And the good thing about the foxes versus, for example, the chameleon and the donkey, uh, when we looked at them, it has much more space here. So even if I would be the lowest one, I would not kick really into the stroller. And if you're obviously a smaller person, then it's easier. And for me, I'm one meter 84 tall. You can see even for giants, it's super easy. I could not get in here if I wanted to. So it's really nice and you have a lot of travel for the handlebar for smaller and uh, taller person. And uh, because my wife is smaller, I'm taller. We have around 25 centimeters height difference <coughs> approximately. And this way it's really easy to adjust for both of us into the right position. Now, that's it with the stroller for now. Um, with the boogaboo part of it. And let me just put it again in position. Now, we lock the brakes. We put the canopy down, put in, take it out. And one more thing I forgot to show you guys is as well, we have a rain cover, it comes with it already. So you don't have to buy one, it comes in the box. Now, as I mentioned, we have two more parts, which is the cup holder, which actually comes onto the side here. Uh, it's actually very easy. Let me just show it to you. Obviously you don't have to buy the Boogaboo one, but when it fits, it fits, it's easier. It comes with three adapters. It's a very plain plastic uh, cover or like cup holder with spacers and the adapter that basically just clips onto the side here. And then you can put this in here or 
you can use the ones that are already pre-installed and uh, so you don't even need the adapter or you put it in here as well so there are some points on the stroller where you can adjust this so the pre-fixed ones here the one in the middle on the handlebar or basically do the adapter then you can take it off obviously if you don't need it and the cup holder as well you can take it off if you don't need it now the more important part sorry let me just put it right so it's nice and tidy is the maxi coso adapters and uh, i mentioned to you when we bought a stroller online i found a better deal later on and instead of getting the money back uh, which was a little bit tough and not easy to get because it was a special order uh, i basically found a deal where we got the adapter sorry the um, cup holder and the maxi cozy adapters for free and therefore we got a little bit of the money back so what it does is very simple we have two parts which are those and that two parts clip in just have to make sure that when you push it in that you can push it inside and as well one more thing as you see it's not straight it's tilted towards one angle and that has to show towards you so that one goes here and that one goes here and as I mentioned maxi cozy adapter is because we have a maxi cozy pebble plus here in I think it's sparkling gray or something like this and that basically allows you now to put in the maxi cozy onto the boogaboo so let me take off the brake this one too and that allows you now to drive with your boogaboo and your maxi cozy car seat which is uh, for the first well 12 months 15 months depends on how fast your baby grows um, inside the car and you can for example once you have your baby inside in the apartment you put it in the baby seat in the maxi cozy pebble plus we're gonna review this one as well later on and that you basically uh, allows you to put the baby into the baby seat and you don't have to switch between the stroller into the baby seat and vice versa when you arrive however it is recommended that the baby should not be too long into inside the baby seat because of uh, how the baby seat is designed it's supposed to protect it uh, however protect the baby however uh, the position is not super spine friendly so you should take out the baby usually every an hour and a half to maximum inside this position because this one is not adjustable in the sense of that um, you cannot make it flat for example it has this position just to give the highest protection in case of an accident now <clears throat> it's always tilted towards the person pushing the stroller so obviously baby facing you again you can't put it other way around and you see there is a little bit flex in it however i guess it's a little bit as well so you can you can rock the baby inside the chair uh, which is normal now to get the baby um, seat out there's a two buttons here on the top uh, let me see if i can show you i'm gonna put a picture in those two next to the handle and to get the baby seat out you just have to push both inside and then you can take the baby seat out yeah. and then the adapters you just press inside and then the slide out and then you take basically the basin back in and we are all set sorry here we go and that was pretty much it the assembly of the Boogaboo Fox complete as I mentioned it comes already pre-installed um, where we bought it if you would like to know where it is just write a comment and I'll tell you and uh, what we really like about the Fox is that it's very easy to drive it is a very light um, stroller as well um, pretty much the lightest we could find from the better ones uh, obviously uh, price I mentioned uh, was 920 euro however we got back 146 917 euro we paid and we got back 146 euro in tax 
Plus again, the tax we paid when we brought it in, which was like 65 francs or 70 francs. So in total, we saved another 80 euros. So the stroller came after tax refund. It was 840 euro, more or less, which is a really good deal for the Fox. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll show you in the last part of the video, basically how a stroller fits inside the car and how much space it takes away. So you can decide if uh, this one is for you and you have enough space in your car. All right, let's go. All right, so we are here now in the end of the video and I just want to show you how much space the stroller actually takes away from the boot. And obviously it depends on if you have now the basin or if you have the, uh, the buggy constellation. Now, if we put this down, let me just bring you closer so you can see. Now, here we go. It pretty much takes the entire boot. Uh, you could maybe arrange it somehow uh, differently. I'll have to see how it looks like later on with the, with the wheels and everything. If you take the wheels off, obviously, you'll have more space. Um, but the basin uh, takes a lot of space, obviously, and from the height, you have to take off the handle if you want to close the cover. And obviously, you have some space left and right, but the Skoda Octavia is actually quite a big car. Uh, can we go further back? Here we go. It's quite a big car. However, you see, it takes a lot of space, so it really depends on what kind of car you have, if you will be able to fit this into your car. Um, obviously, the Recaro Easy Life, which we bought as well, um, I'm gonna show to that now as well. Uh, let me just assemble a stroller quickly. Take this one out. And then put this inside. Drive this one away. And the boot is really big, so it's not small at all. Now here we have the Recaro Easy Life, which uh, you have not seen yet unfold it, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but if you put that one inside, obviously you have tons of space still available, but this will be only something that we're gonna use when we go on vacation uh, or when we need the boot space and we don't need to drive so much. Let me just show you how quickly we can unfold that one because I'm gonna show you another video, which will be much shorter, obviously, because you don't have to reassemble anything or assemble anything. Now, here we go. <coughs> The only thing you have to do with this one, basically when it comes is, you have this lever here. Let me, sh sorry, the screen. The lever here, you have to pull to the right, twist forward, and then the stroller is open. That's it. Yeah, put it on drive and you can drive it around. But obviously this is not for a baby. This is only for someone who can sit already and to fold it back inside, that's it. And the size for this one, is small enough to take it as a hand luggage into the plane. But that will be a different video. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to A Dad's Diary. Uh, I hope this video was informative for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.